Hey everyone, Dan Heilman here, and this is going to be another Rage of Destiny video. We have a new patch today. I'm going to go through the patch notes, talk about the battle passes, and uh, see how many points we get from Dragon towards the battle pass. Let's go. Um, so, let me pull up the Discord here, and let's talk about it. So, we get some 600 gems. Awesome. Patch is live right now. These patch notes were posted yesterday. Uh, so we've had, I like how they post, post the patch notes, you know, 24 hours before the patch comes out. But let's go through it. Uh, Hatharl reduces damage taken when using skill by 50%. That's cool. He's pretty squishy. Um, he may be pretty damn strong now. Kratos, um, bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. Vardis got changed a little bit. Lovelace got changed. It's really hard to see what they changed because they don't have the original skill next to it. So I don't know what it did before. So these are kind of useless, um, to be honest. Monica. We'll have to see how this all changes. Uh, reduce all enemies defense for each Shadow Wolf present. Now that is interesting. We may see Monica jump up pretty high. Uh, I'm not sure about the changes to Lovelace or Vardis, but Monica, that's very interesting. Okay, um, Chaos Crystals from AFK Rewards. I don't even know what Chaos Crystals are. Optimize stages 20 to 26. Um, optimize this, optimize that. Increase the number of Dragon Coins earned from the chest at the end of Dragon's Den. That's nice. Um, okay, so no changes to... Okay, cool. No changes to Polis or anything like that. Okay, so that's that. Now let's go talk about it. Uh, it they added another Eternal Battlefield. Um, I will make a separate video on that, as long as some, as well as some videos from these other ones as well. So I will work on that. Uh, let's talk about these battle passes. So the Dragon Pass. Um, let's first start with the Royal Pass. The Royal Pass. Okay, so you get. 490 of these shards to give you guaranteed purple heroes uh, plus enough to do uh, you know one other pull and a little bit of extra so this one's decent all you have to do is basically do your daily quest it sounds like you get these merits in the daily quest um, I don't know where it said it over oh, right here royal pass okay activated on the eighth the Royal Pass will be activated on the eighth day after the player's hero is created. Okay, eight days. You have to be playing eight days for this to unlock. Each Royal Pass lasts 49 days. Uh, the more merit gain, the better the unlock rewards. Merit can be found in the chest from the daily and weekly missions. Okay, so if you're doing those daily, you'll be able to get these. When the Royal Pass is reset, all unclaimed rewards will be sent to the mail. That's good. Um, you get some VIP as well from activating it and it's only active during the season in which it's bought it's not permanent you can see the reset day 48 days here are these both okay this one's 43 days okay so royal pass value um 25 bucks for eight epic summons really nine nine um and a ten pull so you get eight guaranteed epics and a ten pull and you get some blues um yeah I think that's some decent value. Do I think it's the best value in the entire game? I don't know. I think it's pretty solid though. But the Dragon Pass, if you need dust, this is crazy value. This is actually insane. So I just purchased it. Um, but let me show you. I have a little comparison. Oh, I did a dust video. If you haven't seen my dust video, um, I will put a link in up top right now to go see that dust video i forgot to put this screen this uh spreadsheet into that dust video so let's go over it now i added the dragon pass to here uh this is basically how much dust you get per dollar spent um this is assuming i'm on 1940 which is kind of old now but you can make a copy of this sheet and you can put whatever your dust per hour is in there um this will obviously go up as you get further these will get more valuable um, so basically you have the pure dust in this column, how much pure dust you get. You have the dust hours you get in this column and then total dust based on this event here. So before the, the daily 499 pack was by far the best dust. 
gives you 194 dust per dollar spent. Look at the Dragon Pass, 1,700 dust per dollar spent. So if you need dust, I mean, this right here gives you 43,000 dust at this level. 43,000 dust. Obviously, it's going to take you a while to unlock those rewards. Uh, and the next thing I need to check is if you can actually unlock all of them. I would assume you can, but um, I will do a dragon run right now because I'm curious how many points you get. So I'm going to do a dragon run. I will super fast forward through it. Um, and I just want to see how much dust or how many points we get towards this dragon pass. Okay. So without further ado, let's go do some dragon. I'm just going to super speed fast forward through this. Um, so you don't have to watch me do an entire dragon because that will be uh, kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, mute my mic. All right, one thing I don't know if people know, so I lost a couple people here. If I just hit exit battle, they'll all come back alive. Um, so you can hit rematch, you can try different things, or since I've already unlocked the last one, I can just skip this now. You'll see, now all my heroes are back. So little tip there, if you don't know that, you can just exit battle after you had heroes die, as long as they don't all die. As soon as they all die, then you're done. Slow. I'm curious uh, the damage the bar does, that's why I put him in. I'm going to compare him to my Paulus, he's the gold white border, four star. 
I think Bardis uh, might be pretty good on bosses with all those ads and stuff. Paul has a good egg, really easy. Yeah. as much as I thought <laughs> that Paulus carry. Oh, but they rank Paulus uh, not even on the list for bosses? Yeah, he sucks. Yeah, Paulus sucks. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> okay. So now we completed everything. If you guys noticed, we were getting rewards every time you used the key on the main chest and the dragon came down to blow everything up. That's when you got the battle uh, pass rewards. So now let's go see what we got because I'm curious. We got 325. Okay, so one clear was 325 on hard. Let me add that to my sheet. 325 points for hard clear. Okay, so, and what is our total points? Do we know that? 11, 520. So equals 11, 5. 20 divided by 325, 35 times. Okay, so you have 44 days to do it. Let me, sorry, let me show my spreadsheet. You have 44 days to do it, and it takes 30, 35 days to clear it on hard, okay? So that means you can miss a couple days, almost 10 days, so that's good. Um, on normal, obviously, I don't know the points yet. Um, but I just wanted to make sure you could clear this whole thing relatively easy. They give you 10 bonus days where you could miss out. So Dragon Pass, great value. I already bought it. I recommend you guys buy it if you're struggling like dust, struggling for dust like the rest of us, and if you want, want to spend money on the game. Okay, so that's the whole video. I just wanted to go through all the patch notes, uh, a couple of the changes. I want to go through the battle passes especially. Because I saw some people in Discord saying that these are very bad value, um, and that really surprised me. Um, the Royal Pass is is okay value. The Dragon Pass, I mean, that is a lot of materials to get, right? That is a lot of materials. So, dust is crazy. I mean, you need 110,000 dust to max a character or something like that, so... Very good. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Go down there, smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Have a great day, everyone. I'm going to be posting lots of Rage of Destiny and lots of Near Reincarnation videos. So if you like either of those games, please sub to the channel. Um, helps me out immensely. So thanks, guys. Have a good one. See ya.